The James Ford Bell Library, established in 1953, preserves and documents the history of trade around the globe from ancient times to circa 1800, the dawn of the modern era. The collection consists of more than 30,000 items ranging from handwritten invoices for goods dated as early as the 5th century to early 19th century accounts of expeditions into the North American wilderness. Nothing really replaces an encounter with original sources. To hold a, a document um, is something that can make a lasting impact. James Ford Bell was an avid collector, and what he wanted was to share his collection with the public. They come into the Bell Library not believing that they can even touch materials that are 500 years old, and they find they can and it sparks something in their imagination. It's really a treat for the undergraduates to be able to sit down and look at the real thing. Normally, you don't get to see this kind of stuff until you're a graduate level student. So when I send them over, and it's kind of interesting to see how, what they come back with, is to realize that, you know, they're holding something, you know, that's three or 400 years old. It's the oldest thing they'll ever kind of, you know, touch in a sense. It's important for history because you should be able to look at what people were thinking during the actual time and it helps you to sort of weed out bias from other people that are writing about the primary source documents and it gives you an opportunity to form your own opinions. Graduate students often choose to come to a, an institution such as the University of Minnesota because of the research opportunities that that institution has. The Bell Library is one of the greatest drawing cards. Graduate students learn how to transcribe, uh, to decipher the paleography of some of these old sources. Graduate students who have worked with me have always done part of their research in the Bell collections. The impact on me is that uh, I can, I'm a better teacher because of it because I'm holding the real thing in my hands. I would not have been able to conduct my research without the material that we have here at the library. The book that I enjoyed writing the most started out um, inspired by a packet of documents in the Bell Library. The library needs public support because it's not just for researchers within the university or researchers from around the globe, it's also for the community. Public and private support is important for the Bell Library and libraries like the Bell because they offer primary sources about the early modern period in which the world was first globalized. Uh, people come here to, to understand how, the, how trade spread around the globe, to learn about the history of the development of civilization. We are living with the consequences of that globalization that began in the early modern period and the Bell Library's primary sources illustrate that beautifully. The Bell Library is truly a gem. It's a, a crown, or a jewel in the crown, shall we say, of the University of Minnesota and of the state. It's a monument. I mean, it's as valuable as any monument that is protected and preserved. This is an intellectual monument, a monument for the humanities. And I think uh, it's, you know, it's, it's a monument that should always be preserved because without that we do not know where we came from and then who are we?